a young lady was uh, talking to a gentleman and he asked her, um, you know, what was she having for lunch? He was going to send her over some money. And when she checked her cash mm. app, it was $30. Now, the internet is in an uproar because, you know, you got this <laughs> side saying you should be appreciative for whatever the man give. And then you have the other side Ooh. saying, if you know I'm going out to eat and I want an appetizer and an entree and dessert or whatever, send at least a hundred dollars. Right. How do you guys feel? Should women be grateful for whatever a man sends to her cash app? Absolutely not. I'm gonna say yes. Um whatever he gives, <laughs> yeah, not. The, it's a thing be grateful that women for okay let's just say it's 30. we're gonna say 30. we're gonna give the 30. what's the you 30 going for to today i'm diving into the topic of delusional women it's not a topic that i'm excited to talk about but i feel like it's needed first we had sprinkle sprinkle where women's standard were through the roof it was so high men could not even reach it and then women were like forget men i'm just gonna be by myself and now of course there's drizzle drizzle where men are like women's standards are so through this the atmosphere it's like in space right now i'm going to reflect to you what you're showing me to show you how delusional you are i'm gonna jump into the drizzle drizzle topic at a different point in time but before drizzle drizzle the conversation was how little is too little and a lot of times women were like you need to give me more as a man like look at me i'm a queen i deserve everything like look at me i'm a queen i deserve everything i mean i feel the same way i'm a queen i deserve everything but listen to me if you as my partner as a man can't provide it to me god gave me two hands two feet a mind that absolutely works i'm gonna give it to myself amen okay let the people say amen and that's what a queen does a queen creates things when it's not going to be given to her freely you don't demand you don't demand you don't stress out because sometimes it's just not within the capability of somebody else to do that for you perhaps they just simply don't want to do that for you and they don't know how to say that okay so you need to be able to do that for yourself sometimes anyways let's get into the topic for today okay don't forget to like and subscribe and i hope you stick around yeah whatever he gives <laughs> yeah, not, the, it's a thing be grateful that women. Oh, okay let's just say gives? it's 30. we're gonna say 30. we're gonna give the 30. what's you the 30 going for? Out why does she keep on saying whatever he gives whatever he gives yes absolutely be grateful for something that's given to you freely that is supposed to be helpful to you they didn't have to get you lunch they didn't have to get you dinner they didn't have to buy you groceries they didn't have to pay your rent that's your responsibility it's your lunch it's your everything you should absolutely be grateful what's you going out for what's you're going out for? to dinner okay okay I With your girl. Lunch. Wait, is it lunch or dinner? Because it doesn't. Oh, change it. Don't make it as okay, okay, okay. okay. I'll I'll it. dinner. Because it's lunch. 30 is That's not true. enough to even cover the valet. Hello, okay, we live in Miami, go. Florida. Okay, <laughs> here we go. I'm going to say lunch. I'm going to keep it on talking. I Let's do lunch. Let's do lunch. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Spice it up. Spice it up. All right. All right. All right. So we're going to take some of the spice away. We're going to pour some water. We're going to water it down and use the actual scenario. Okay. So it was lunch, $30. Are you going to be grateful? Or should women be grateful for that? Okay, I'm grateful that I woke up this morning and I am <laughs> I'm grateful for unexpected miracles and blessings, right? right? Yes. But Amen. thirty dollars to like so he knows I'm going to lunch. He knows you're he going knows to lunch. He knows my vibe. He knows how I like to move and he only sent thirty dollars. First of all, how much are you paying for lunch by yourself? How much are you paying what are you where are you going for lunch? Typically if you work a nine to five, your lunch is an hour long, right? Perhaps you're gonna have a burrito, maybe some Chipotle, maybe some McDonald's. You're not gonna go to a fancy rent. Even if you're gonna have a whole thing of pizza, it's not gonna cost $30. A whole like small pizza by yourself, that's let's say it's like $15 plus tax bringing to $20 and you add like a couple dollar tip, that's like about $30. Like what are you eating that's costing more than $30? 30 times two is someone's grocery for the week. Like, are you kidding me? What is she talking about? Honestly, like podcasts like these, like I can't even listen to. I don't listen to this because I feel like it really makes women have a hard time when it comes to men because you don't know how to be aware of like yourself and how other people are and like their expectations for you, your expectations for them, where they meet, where they just don't meet, where it's just perhaps going to the edge of delusion. 
how much are they expecting for lunch i'm trying to figure it out like what are they eating i just feel like it's it, maybe okay maybe he doesn't know a woman of your caliber or right. a woman of your like how you like to move so yeah. 30 dollars to him was like that the only caliber i'm seeing here is the fact that like he sends you 30 dollars for lunch and then he also sends you a tip he sends you $60 and you pay $30 for lunch and then you end up with a $30 tip for yourself. So $30 yeah. to him was like that. Let me throw this out here and see if she's okay right. with that, yeah, right? Let me see, yeah. let me see okay. So you got to be grateful in the sense of thank you, baby. Like, don't make it confrontational. Oh, you should have gave me and yeah. Yeah. you're not doing yeah. that. Yes. But it's very much so thank you, baby. I appreciate you. You know, Thank I you, honey. I'm very appreciative. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. No, no, they tell you what you are not a faithful No, and I'm not even going to say, I'm not even going to say right then and there like, oh, it's a problem. But now I have to move in a way where he knows what I like and yeah. what I expect and what I do for myself. Correct. Yeah. And if yeah. he sees that I'm moving this way and he's thinking, damn, yeah. I see her, no, I see her nails be this, her yeah. perfume be this just to go out, her hair, Thank her, you. her, her. When she go out, she likes a a, a Lafette Rose. She likes a, a something that's Not already gonna call. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. You know yeah, you gotta show. How did we go from from lunch? Right, this is lunch. Perhaps you're having three meals in a day, and he's paying for one of those meals out of his pocket to make you happy, right? To take a little burden off of you, and you went from lunch to nail costs, hair costs how you carry yourself costs, the type of standard that you have costs. You want him to give you $500 for lunch because you're not gonna be spending that $500 on lunch. Lunch does not cost $500 and you're not gonna be having rosé at lunch unless this is like a weekend lunch and it's brunch, then of course, yeah, send me some more money because I'm really going out and splurging. But like, I'm so very confused. The question is, should you be grateful if your man sends you $30 for lunch? The answer to this question is yes, you should be grateful because it's gratitude that you're expressing when you're being grateful. Do you know what grateful is, ladies? Do you guys know what that word means? Amen. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm just saying. You know yeah, you gotta show you a man know, how to treat you. Absolutely definitely you do. You gotta show a man how to treat you. Do. So don't make it confrontational yeah. if it's $30. Yeah. Just Thank you. Because men I love to, oh, she's so ungrateful. But what I, I will know. say is mm -hmm. that people in general have this thing of humbling women. They have Correct. a thing of, oh, you should be grateful for whatever he can do. Thank no, you, you shouldn't. Absolutely not. Thank you. You should never. That's no, what I'm no, trying no. to say. I'm not saying, like you said, mm -hmm. be grateful that God woke you up for this morning. Be grateful that God <laughs> provided an extra little thirty dollars for you. To, you know, that's Thank cool. You, but I'm not gonna mm -hmm. bend over backward for a man that is just sending whatever he can, or you know, um, if if he's not gonna be my boyfriend number one but if i'm talking <laughs> yeah. to him next time i'm out I'm, uh, and he says oh you need something for lunch i'm gonna tell him it's okay somebody already sent me a hundred dollars so he know that you're going for the next job time job. yeah god, you got to damn. because it's it's better like you said instead of throwing a fit and oh my god right. and, and going on the internet this nigga did this that and the third it's better to just show him what what real what, men what, are doing yeah right yeah. and let me just oh this is why people aren't having kids and women don't have men and men don't want to be with women because what the literal hell am i watching i'm so confused if i'm confused you must be confused too okay i guess these women are talking about just dating in general it's like you're basically letting them know that other men are competing for you but okay bet if somebody else is competing competing for you and this person is meeting your standard why is this other person who's not meeting your standards still on your roster why do you have to make them feel bad about not being able to do something for you sure the idea would be they would be like oh they sent you 100 let me send you 100 next like the end goal isn't to be in competition for you the end goal is to settle down like find that one who does meet your standard and just commit to them isn't to play game here with men this is why men are so over it because they understand that on average like one man goes on a date with like 10 girls perhaps if he's like a gentleman he will pay for all of those girls right he's looking to build something potentially i don't know but say he's looking to build something he's looking to eventually make one of these girls his girlfriends but every single one of these girls are just looking for a meal imagine how he feels let's say lunch costs 30 dollars and that's 10 girls that's 300 dollars you just spent on food not including how much he paid for himself and these girls can do this over and over with other men i think that's so disgusting that's so disgusting and that's all i'm hearing that's happening here like this isn't going to 
turn you into the queen that you say you are. A queen doesn't play games. This is like petty games. I don't think my mom would even approve of this. My mom would say, focus on someone who I have the same values and beliefs with. Can I grow with this person? If ultimately I realize from dating you that I can't grow with you, I'm not gonna waste my time or your time. Go find your person. Let me go find my person or just simply focus on myself and you do the same because it's just not working. We're wasting each other's time. It doesn't have to be some, oh, this other guy treated me better than you. So what's up with you? Obviously, he's not for me, so bye-bye. Like, ugh. It's better to just show him what, what real what, men what, are doing. Yeah. Right, let, and let me just piggyback mm -hmm. off of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, I want to say, but I've seen it. Because I need to put up my notepad. Yeah. Go ahead. Let me me in that, that situation, okay, you know, I, okay. <laughs> if we're being completely honest, those nails are right here, so right ugly. now, we've all eaten lunch for $30. Yes. Let's start hundred percent. Wait, cute little cafe spot, baby. I'm going to lunch for $30. not need to snap us and get something popping, but we know, you know. So we're not saying that we're ungrateful. Right. Food is food on the table. However, you know what the Correct. standard is. Correct. Me in that situation, handling it with grace. Thank you so much, baby. I'm yes. so appreciative. I'm gonna still take a picture of that bill and I'm gonna send it to him. <laughs> thank you for the 30. That was the tip. Here's yeah. The What's up? And yeah, then thank and you. And then you paid it by yourself. All you handled oh, no, was the tip. No. That's what I'm you need wait. to know. I'm, I'm, you I'm, 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 I'm gonna wait for that <laughs> Apple Pay, baby. I'm, I'm gonna wait for the rise. You're not paying yeah. up. You waiting yeah. on the yeah. Apple Pay to ching through. No, but that's that's a huge topic to where. They, everybody want to keep women humble. Why would you right. come to a woman, not saying this is me or anybody, but a woman making $100,000, she go out to lunch and she spend 150 on herself. Why would you go to her and say, oh, well, a man, he took her to Applebee's. He can't afford uh, uh, where she wants to go. So she should just be grateful for that. You no, she shouldn't. That woman. Okay. Okay. So so this is my thing. Again. I don't <laughs> even, I personally <laughs> don't make $100,000. Yeah, no, not I'm not yet. saying, not but yet. I'm saying, you not know. Yeah, it's yet. coming. Exactly. I'm at 99, but 99 and a half only do. Going in frequently. So these women don't make a lot of money, but they expect the man who potentially, let's assume, are in the same category as them, they're not making six figures as well, to give them more money than they themselves would spend on lunch. Mm. This is not the standard. This is not the standard. This is not how you do things. It's not how you do things at all. I feel like there's a big difference between when you like someone, like genuinely like someone, and you want to grow with them and build with them versus when you're really just like using someone. You can tell that difference within yourself. And these women are literally talking about those difference. The difference meaning that like when they're looking to use someone, they're going to be like, um, what else? Like, who do you think you're talking to? Like, this is not the standard that I maintain for myself. Like, hello hello like that's bossy it's disgusting that's not love that's not care that's not gratitude that's not kindness that's not niceness that's that's mean and personally the way how i think about dating and lunch and all these things i think that if i go on a date with someone and i don't like them in that way like i don't want to continue seeing them or something i'm going to make that clear okay and i'm going to want to pay for myself because i don't want you to think that because you're paying for me that i actually like you because i don't and it's going to be even more awkward and embarrassing for me so yes if we ever go on a date and you pay for this meal that means i actually like you okay and i'm like ooh, look at you you're paying for this date and you're making me happy and i hope that we have a good future together and I'm all giddy because I'm like, ah, that's when you like someone. When you like someone, you're grateful. You're you're excited about this, even the smallest things that they do for you. When you don't like someone, really, unfortunately, it's a lot like, oh, really? Like, that's it? Like, that's what you did? But it also, there's like the in-between where you've been with them for a while. Perhaps you've been dating them for a while. And yes, they do. They know your standard. You've spoken about what you want, like what you like, the flowers you like, the food you like, the makeup you like, the, th the things you like to do, and they don't engage with any of that. Like potentially they just don't like you in that way because they don't care about what you like. So that's also a hint that it's really not your person. Don't force it. It's just not your person. Go on there tonight because I'm tired of hearing some of you little boys get mad that women want men to spend money. Yeah, stupid. A woman has between the years of roughly 18 and 25 to make a lifelong decision. And some of you guys will talk about, man, I need to be with her for two years. So let me get this right. You're supposed to be all these high value, this and that. And then you want to waste a woman's time for two years. That's dumb. 
Just say you don't want to be married or you don't want to commit. All right, cool. But high value men, the men I'm talking about, it's a, it's a very narrow conversation where most of you don't fit. Okay. If you don't fit that your world, then eat the meat, spit out the bones, but don't think you're going to change it in the comment section, banging at me. Women are supposed to want your resources. You're supposed, they're supposed to be the beautiful ones. You're supposed to be the builder. In the heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. No. I mean, 99, but 99 and a half won't do. 99 and a half won't do, okay? Yes. On that 99. Mm -hmm. Even <laughs> I don't make that, and don't send me that. Mm -hmm. Now, right. I'm going to accept it. I'm going to accept the 30. 30 is probably yeah. kind of like my threshold. Yeah. Because if you send me, if my meal is 17.99 and you send me 17.99, I'm going to send that back. I'm yes. sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm not being, gr I'm, I'm just not going to be grateful and thankful for anything. Like, you're, you're going to, don't I'm going to heart the message. Yeah. I'm going to heart don't, it. That's it. Do not play with me. Do not, I'm sending that $17 back. Now, 30, I could take that for, because if you go to Starbucks, it's $24. Yeah. It's Even true. breakfast is damn near $30. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I go to the storehouse and spend it on pickle eggs and hot yes. sausages. You know, hot sausages right, are we can still, We're that. not saying we can't eat with the yes. 30, but so I'm, I will accept yeah. it, but I need you to know that there's a type of way you need to step with me. Right. And like you were yeah. saying, you will see that in the type of woman that I yeah. am. You will see right. that in the type of way that I carry myself, yeah. I withhold myself. Have we gone out to eat before? Do you see what I order? Do you see what I normally like to right. drink? Do you see what I normally eat? So mm -hmm. you would know, okay, well, babe, I'm going to send you to, even if it's 50, like start mm -hmm. somewhere. I was yeah. going to say. But 30, what? Well, at, okay, at what number is it insulting? You know this what I mean? This is what I was going to say. So where you, where that you question. See, right, where you see me at, that's, it can be a little insulting to be it like, is. he think I'm a $20 bitch? So, like, well, you know. well, let me say this. So, for example, <laughs> my my yeah, man no, thank personally, you. my man personally knows that sometimes <laughs> I need that extra kick in the morning, right? So I might need like, a, a, a coffee, yeah. a, um, a breakfast. croissant, something, and he'll send me thirty dollars right hey baby lunch on me or whatever because mm -hmm. i know on my day-to-day -day when i'm working my job right, right. while i'm also working my passion mm -hmm. right that thirty dollars get me moving and shaking yeah. right now i'm there's different things if he knows that i'm going out with the girls and i'm yes. hanging out or by mm -hmm. myself doing a little date for myself yeah. thirty dollars just not gonna handle but i'm still grateful i'm not yeah. Yeah. i'm not i'm not Oh boy. See, again, we're not answering the question. The question was, if your man sends you $30 for lunch, will you be grateful? Now this woman done talked about, okay, $30 on a regular day versus $30 on a day when like he, she's hanging out with her girlfriends, etc. Okay, those are different. Like, I'm sure if he knew you were going out with your girlfriend by the standard you just said for your relationship, then sure, he would probably send you more. Or perhaps he wouldn't send you shit because he expects you to pay for yourself when you're hanging out with your friends. It's a joke, haha. -ha. Anyways, the other thing that was brought up is the difference between, okay, he sends you $3 ahead of time to pay for lunch, right? Assuming that lunch will be covered within that amount, which I think is absolutely possible and, and fine. I was going to say appropriate, but whatever. Nothing's inappropriate, appropriate. It's, it's whatever. Versus if you pay for lunch and you and he's like oh like how much did lunch cost and you're like oh it costs 17.99 and then he sends you 17.99 personally <laughs> shit I'm, I'm about to get my little delusional woman self too right now for me personally i'm about to be grateful i'm definitely gonna be like thank you but i'm also gonna be like why did you send me 17.99 so you can be like you paid for my lunch because it's giving weird it's it's giving weird but again i also want to go back to the fact it's like do i like this person who is this person who are they to me what are their values or their beliefs right because if this is something that they perhaps do regularly where i'm like oh i paid 18 dollars for lunch and they'd be like oh let me give you that right like on me or like regularly but if it's like one time and then they're like this is like their big thing they're like oh i paid for lunch 17.99 you might as well have just kept it like it's absolutely fine i think that you have to think about other variables sometimes giving you something ahead of time expecting that this can cover what is possible in the realm of where you're going for lunch you're not going out to some big fancy place then absolutely be grateful but if you already paid for your lunch and it's like ten dollars and he's sending you ten dollars yeah you might as well just keep it but like thank you i understand that part for sure
Yeah, you never want to show that you're ungrateful. Yeah. But don't show that you're appreciative if it's nothing to appreciate. You know? Right. I yeah. Think it's I handle it with grace. Handle yeah. it with yeah, grace. You handle yeah. grace. Absolutely. Everything with, you never want to just be a bitch. Well, you know, because how you handle it is going to, you could have a valid point, but how it comes off is like, are you a bitch that's just, a un, you know, you don't understand yeah. things? Or can you, you know, kind of have some reason? Yes. And, yeah, some Hot class to, to it some all. situation. For yes. sure. I think also, too, there's a certain expectation with the man that we're dealing with. If it's just, you know, someone that you probably just met, he may not know. Of so, okay, not. a little 30. Okay, thank you. Let of my friend get yeah. me 30. I just met him yesterday or this right. morning. He mm-hmm. shot me $30. That's nice. That's cute. Yes. yes. If you're my man, I'm going to expect something. The expectation is different. Depending because on you what's know happening. Me. Yes, depending on what's going on. Yeah. Of course not. I ain't gonna lie. My man sent me ten dollars right now. Thank you, babe. Because yeah. I love my man. I love my man. I love everything he do, and he done gave me way more than that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I know if he was to send what did 30, I say about when we he likes someone versus later. not? He's gonna cook dinner later. Like th- this thirty is just for now, Ooh, just to cook, eat for now. Girl. Oh yes, my man. Cook- oh, you're not in the close friends. I gotta put you in the close <laughs> friends. My man be cooking for her. My Excuse man throws me. down. Yeah, okay. Um, my it's man not throws- always gonna be. It's, I, I just think. Until, depending on whatever situation, because you might have a man who's making that and it ain't nothing to send $100 every single day to you. Yeah. Or you might be in a Thank position you. where your man is building and he's working, yeah. but he's also wanting to take care of you, whether it be your right. nails, your hair, mm-hmm. um, throwing you $30 for lunch, throwing you $100, getting you hotel stays right. to relax because you had yes. a long week. Massa- you know what I'm saying? Read the room, investing in your business. Yeah. My man just got me a, my first MacBook Air, baby. Yeah. And... <laughs> my man, my man, my right. man, because I, I was living the right. HP life. Right. So I'm telling you, it, over the HP. it's not love I, HP. I got it for myself. Maybe I got it for upgrade, myself. Though. You already know. But I'm know. saying, just like be appreciative. See what who what right. he's doing and how mm-hmm. he's moving, and you can work with that. Right. Don't be well, ungrateful for you know, all. And also, me, don't, don't work with. I'm with, so sorry. Y'all. Right. Let me just be clear. You have to choose your man wisely. Let's just start there. Y'all be choosing these men out the depths of hell, and when he don't send you that two hundred dollars for lunch, you want to you want to I was about to say that man on blast for no reason sweetie you knew he was a $30 man yeah you knew that (laughs) yeah and that's the thing too um a lot of the men were saying well the women don't even have their own money they don't okay nobody well that's what you're dealing with a woman (laughs) that does not have her own money then that's a choice problem you chose the wrong woman because just because you send me the 30 does not mean that i did not have the 30 to eat baby i was gonna eat anyways i was already on my way to brunch i already had my outfit my hair my shoes everything was already planned the money is already put away but you're coming to help and build and you know you want to like take a little weight off my shoulder so thank you baby Mm -hmm. i appreciate it but that is not an assumption that i do not have the money also men if you know that you can cannot give $30 or if it's hard for you to give then you need to date within Don't your date. Do you not can date. Date. no you can Do not date. but date with the woman that number Do 1 does not Just have that expectation mm-hmm. or number 2 is in that that range that will love and adore that $30 will save that $30 will frame that $30 will bathe with that $30 will masturbate with that $30 like be with that woman because it is a woman out there that will appreciate it and that will love it but do not try to put that on me yeah if that's your philosophy find somebody that got that same philosophy yeah. do yeah. not try to come like to I said, me like humbling women that, it's not going to men happen. love to humble women they love they to come to, to a woman that they know is going on but not $500 all men. dates not all and bring her men, down to $100 dates that is men that don't know the value of themselves a value of a woman they don't know themselves and they need to do a lot of soul searching because a man right. for real is not looking to humble no woman no yeah. they look to gas man. them up because they want to see them on that next level because guess 100%. what as i'm on that level i get to be better for you yeah. and i look better for you yeah right you yes. get what i'm saying so it's the wrong type of man that want to humble a woman and if any man is looking to humble Them me narcissistic you can get man, your yeah. motherfucking mm-hmm. ass out my goddamn face <laughs> okay because we're not humbling nobody over here okay jesus christ raw and uncut you need to refine this stuff because raw and uncut is not cute you literally just said that if your man who you love sends you ten dollars you'll be happy because you know that behind the scenes he does so much more for you right bet and if this is someone new and he sends you 30 ducks it's like whoa nice you're like in the right direction right if he sends you the 17.99 or the 30 dollars for lunch that means that you now still have your 1799 you still have your 30 bucks which means that you can use your 1799 your 30 dollars that you still have and build it multiply that shit somehow 
okay because you still have it put it towards your 401k instead of you having to buy lunch like what am i missing and it's absolutely okay for men to humble women and women to humble men because sometimes women have some crazy ass ideas that just don't make no damn sense some crazy ass standards that don't make no damn sense and it needs to be humbled and to be honest it needs to be torn up and put in the trash and the same for men like i don't think it's appropriate for men to be like oh you didn't have the money anyways like and what does it matter if i didn't have the money anyways are you here to make me feel better about not having the money anyways but also like as a woman who didn't have the money anyways are you here to make him feel like it's his responsibility because he didn't have the money anyways it's not it's not his responsibility just same as how when you see homeless people on the street unfortunately it's 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 not your responsibility to take care of them but it's with your humanity that you do it because it feels right it feels good i hated this whole conversation every single one wasn't i i'm i'm not walking away with anything helpful i feel so sorry for for young women these days i feel sorry for myself i'm telling you it's very very hard out here drizzle drizzle is here drizzle drizzle is here to be like women stop this craziness because it doesn't make any sense like you cannot build this standard for yourself where it's all about take 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 and then men are like okay i give 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 but like i'm tired men are tired women are tired men are tired everyone's freaking tired can we all just talk to each other and be honest with each other like let him know you're just using him like let him like prostitution is real like men know they can't just use you and pay you women know this too like it doesn't have to be that complicated transactional relationships are a thing like you can find that for yourself but then when you confuse transactional relationship with love it gets really awful for people who are actually looking for love i just said a lot of things but basically let me know what you're walking away with from this question i personally feel like these women i don't know their age but they're a bit too old to be talking about the dating game like this if you like this video like this video and stick around for more i'm ali brown i'm in single and uh, i'm a lot to learn as a woman in this world and I guess Drizzle Drizzle will teach me something new about what the men are experiencing because God know I know they're experiencing something and perhaps I was a part of it. And accountability is a great thing. Not the accountability that these women were talking about. I don't know what the hell they were talking about. Please let me know if you know what the hell they were talking about. Uh, bye! Thanks for watching!